from Colin Trevero, 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 fr- from not Steven Spielberg, comes the best Jurassic Park sequel ever made, which really isn't saying much. Alan. Jurassic World. It's been 22 years since Jurassic Park opened its gates, but today's kids don't care about an old-fashioned dinosaur zoo. Now, desperate for more profits, Jurassic World is here with cooler new dinosaurs, better amenities, and tons of product placement. Verizon Wireless presents the Indominus Rex. To exploit a new generation by selling them the same basic premise they already sold to their parents, to the point where they literally break out a pair of nostalgia goggles. Wait, are we talking about the movie or the reason this movie exists? I I really can't tell anymore. That first park was legit. Welcome to Jurassic World, an awesome dinosaur version of SeaWorld that's another Blackfish documentary waiting to happen, where, once again, they've spared no expense. Spare no expense. Yet after a string of highly public disasters where dinosaurs escaped, they still have crappy fences. The invisible fences were a no-fail. That is the second time this month. Bad security. Security, we need a search and rescue in the valley. It's gonna be a while. And conveniently bad reception. It's in the cage! It's in there with us! Okay, Zach, listen to me. Hello? Should have taken that Verizon deal. You remember the original film's great characters, like Alan Grant and Ian Malcolm. Now, meet, uh, the, this stiff lady who won't shut up about assets. Doesn't mean asset development is falling behind. We've unveiled a new asset. Asset containment. We have an asset out of containment. Can we just focus on the asset, please? And this Chris Pratt, who won't shut up about animals. You don't learn anything about these animals except what you want to know. Probably easier to pretend these animals are just the wild animals. How long has the animal been in here? Animals raised in isolation. This animal, 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 animals. Animals. Together with a bunch of other one-dimensional characters whose names I cannot seem to remember, they'll have to thwart Engine's plan to strap cameras on barely trained raptors' heads and use them to hunt terrorists in Afghanistan. These guys are gonna run straight into the enemy teeth and eat them, belt buckle and all. Wait, what? I need to read that again. Engines plan to strap... No, that's what it says. Imagine if we had these puppies in Tora Bora. Wow, that is like a Dr. Evil level of stupid right there. I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. After just 10 years of operation, the public is somehow already bored of living, breathing dinosaurs. Now, instead of creating new herbivore hybrids, the same guy responsible for the first dinosaur disaster will combine the two deadliest carnivores on the island, T-Rex and Raptor. That thing's part Raptor. And Snake. They say it can sense thermal radiation, like snakes. And Tree Frog. Tree frogs use strands from their DNA to- And cuttlefish? Cuttlefish genes were added. Dude, stop. You had me a T-Rex raptor. This isn't Pinkberry. You don't have to use every topping just because they're there. So experience the box office smash of the summer that's really just the most expensive sci-fi channel original movie ever made that gave bored zookeepers something to do this summer and had everyone asking how that lady outran a T-Rex in high heels. But somehow gave a pass to all these other questions like, is the CEO really the only helicopter pilot on a chain of small islands? You are sure there's nobody else who can fly a helicopter? We don't need anyone else. Why would they give a dinosaur created for public display the ability to camouflage? It can camouflage! Is the assistant's death scene cool or extremely excessive and unjustified? Why do you have one fat, lazy security guard for the most dangerous animal on the planet? It doesn't make any sense. Why can't B.D. Wong tell the park management what he put in their dinosaur? Didn't they pay for it? That's unfortunate. Can the Mosasaurus eat anything that wanders next to his tank? Why are these kids' parents getting divorced? And why is that even in the movie? Why aren't any of these girls calling the police on this creep? What do you think's gonna happen from you just staring at them? Why do these two characters hook up despite never really liking each other? Who's in charge of this control room? A dinosaur is literally eating people and they're all just sitting there. Is there no head of security? That's a first. What is this lady's job exactly? She does not even know what she is. Is this the worst written villain ever? Oh, Jesus. 
Wait, did that raptor just jump on that T-Rex's back to get leverage? Because that's awesome. And how can the tour balls leave the park when today's technology won't even let you take a shopping cart 20 feet from the grocery store? Oh, we can stay out a couple more minutes. But who cares? Because that T-Rex and Raptor tag team fight was awesome! Starring Zoo Lord, Bryce Dallas, Texas, Vincent Donut Fritos, Human Buzzfeed, Bill Nye the Evil Guy, Shamu, Tyrannosaurus Ex Machina. You're my boy, Blue. And the Plotosaurus Rex. Raptor Rex versus Dino Shark. You know, for such a ridiculous movie, they really nailed what it's like to watch a Jimmy Fallon sketch. Am I right? Is this real? It is? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Trailers. Cookie Cat, he's a friend for your tummy. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Hit the Quan. I am Reptar. Hear me roar. I'm not saying that. You can't make me say that. Stop asking me.